Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I hope everything's okay in your life. In this video, I will try to convey my experience about G progression in general. Without further ado, let's check what we have as advices. First of all, do not rush yourself. Video is a game that will bottleneck you from other points when you are in a hurry. For this reason, if you have just started the game, definitely aim to learn the game and enjoy the game. Even after years, you will find yourself learning many things about the game. Video is a game that is regularly updated every week and it keeps its variability at high levels. Secondly, join a guild. Progression guilds that new players join are quite common in video. Both passive and actively used buffs of these guilds will support you in your progress. In addition, the guild you join can provide you with the advantages such as killing wells. Well is a world boss and spawn in the middle of the ocean. I don't want to give too much detail about this and prolong to the video. It appears twice away. Read, search, try to apply them and plan it for future. Video is one of the few MMORPG games where you have the most depth and learn new things as you do. When you rush to learn a lot of content in the game, you are likely to get bored with the game when you see that you cannot do them in a short time. Give yourself time to learn the game and don't be afraid to search online. The video community is very helpful community in helping other people. The reason for this situation is that the players who knew very little about the game in the past and lost a lot of time by making mistakes and suffered. We used to have a hard time finding resources because the game was very new and even in the old times it was huge game. For today it is immeasurable. Today it has turned into a giant gaming community with the hundreds of thousands of players and serving different countries all over the world. Within these large communities, a lot of content creator players have emerged aiming to players like me. Do not forget to follow the contents of these people and follow them. I would like to state that it will provide you with the great advantages in the long term. Our fourth subject is try to start with a season search. Season servers are open regularly in the game. Regular players cannot log into these servers and the purpose is to give new or returning players an impetus to catch up with other players. Players who can enter those servers can log into normal servers too. Starting items of the seasons are given to you is narrow and then you can transform them into Twala Jir. On season servers you can only use these Twala Jir. On season character you can only use this Twala Jir, do not forget that. Upgrading these items to the pen level is not very difficult. In general, an account that has completed adventure journals can increase up to 248 pre-awakening AP, 250 awakening AP, 311 DP with the season gear. Make sure to stay on the season service as long as possible. The advantage of graduating from the season service early will not be good for returning and newbie players. Especially the recent updates have strained the catch mechanics for the new players to catch their old players easily. Even in early game spots you can get a high amount of silvers to get a certain point quickly. I will try to explain these grind spots in another video. You should definitely check my channel. Number 5. Try to complete progression tasks. Again, a mechanic that allows new and returning players to adapt to the game quickly. In this progression pass, there are small quests for everything in the game in general. For example, fishing, catching horse, hunting, gathering, etc. Definitely try to complete the content that has these and many other things categorized in it. It will help you to learn the game and have an idea and the rewards will be very useful in the future. Some of the items you receive may be much more valuable than you think. If you don't know anything about the game, please do not delete them. Number 6 is try to finish adventure journals. Of course, what are we talking about is not something that can be finished in a short time. These journals which are adapted from the stories of the important people who have a place in the story of the game are content that offer you permanent buffs when you are complete them and also allows you to learn many contents about the game. First of all, you can try to get your AP and DP from Igor Bartali journal, then you can complete the Margahan, I mean Agris journal and Ruby journal. Yes, I know, there's a lot of to do and we're constantly adding new ones, but video is that kind of game. You can plan to complete other books by searching on the internet and, and check them, what they have in it. Especially for the Deus journal series, it will save you time to order some things in the marketplace and order them while you are doing other things in a long time. Number 7. Try to start farming. 
Farming is a branch of life skill that can support you in passive income and help you in long run, especially those who can play the game actively, breeding the crops in their farms as soon as their growth is completed and leave them to grow again, providing a good income in passive way. You can find my farming guide video on my channel. Try to finish Magnus Abyss 1 content. This content will offer you a lot of things. Although it does not provide direct benefits at the beginning of the game, you will understand how valuable it is as time goes on. It will give you free pen boost you. This is one time for your family. Maybe it will give other rewards in the future. It's very new content right now. You can learn about the details by following the next contents that I will record in the future. Number 9. Try to make your own pen boss tier with the guaranteed pen boss tier method. This method for newbies developed to support newbie players. You can leave the RNG factor aside and craft your own armor and weapon with the guaranteed pen method. Of course, armors and weapons obtained by this method cannot be used by season character. This is a bit of a detailed subject and I leave you a link about it. In the description, you will find the detailed official guide link describing what you need to do. There is no guide on my page about this and other subjects yet. Number 10. Try to make your own pen accessories. For the same reason, the issue we mentioned above in number 9, the method of the obtaining guaranteed pen accessory is available in the game, provided that it's only once per family. You can obtain one of them, present ring, basilisk belt, and tungrat earring item. If you don't like your selection, or if you want to change it in the future, you have to write to change it once a day. Of course, this will not be free transaction. The replacement the replacement cost is silver. I leave the link below about this topic. Please be careful and be patient about your daily quests. Number 11. Tag system. There are 24 different classes in the game at the moment and you may have difficult deciding what you want to play. Thanks to this tag system, you can tag two characters together. You can copy your stuff to it when you connect it. However, this copying process of course allows you to use the item only in the tag character. You can find many resources about this subject on the internet. Number 12. When you play on the season server, the game will give you a Fugger's Watch. This item will give you a chance to permanently copy the level and skill points of the character you played to another character. In other words, if you don't like the character you played in the season and want to continue another character in the season, you can continue your game with the season character by indirectly graduation the character you played without sacrificing your rights to the season. Advice number 13. You should definitely check class interviews. Do not forget to follow the guides that I have made with the masters of 24 different classes on my channel and the currently in the game. These guides are content made to explain what classes offer the players. Rather than being a detailed guide about the class, it aims to introduce the class by providing basic information to beginner or a player who wants to play that class. If you are curious about the PvE and PvP potential of the class you are playing, you should definitely watch the tier list videos on the channel. The content in the videos has been approved and verified by the class masters. Number 14. Mostly we finished general advices about your gameplay. Remember that video is a game that varies a lot and this video will be out of date maybe two years later. I don't know. Nevertheless, I aim to prepare this content for you with a long-term gradual jump in progress. When I think of two different defensive tasks in the game, the item preference of the player who is progressing in general is always parallel. A player who only chooses damage reduction uses Rugon and Bag, while a player who prefers evasion uses Muskan and Lever. The only difference is general Rugon, Bag and Muskan Lever. The remaining items and crystals are mostly the same. Of course, as the game approaches the end game part, although it evolves and into various builds according to pvp and game preference they are generally the same at the beginning for this reason i created a gear with this in mind in the next scenario you will encounter that we realized as completed adventure journals we will start with the full pentwala set our gear advices afterwards a hard path was followed by keeping the progress based on the pve until 690 gear score 
Of course, these steps may differ depending on your playstyle. However, the aim is to create a detailed progression guide that will give you an idea. If you wish, we can go to the Jir Advice section. The Jir steps in these stages were created by using Garmod.com. Thank you very much to Suko. If you wish, you can use this site to follow your Jir and see your stats. On this website, not only this feature, but also dozens of useful contents about BDO are presented to you interactively. You can find the link of the Jir in the description. Stage 1 Adjusting the crystals of a player who has graduated from the season as they see on the screen will benefit from greatly both during stays in the season and after graduation. These crystals are usually PV based crystals and have a hybrid purpose. Stage 2 When you graduate from the season it will be the right choice for you to receive a pen kaposha as a season reward. If you're a returning player, you, you can get the equipment you want and use it as you wish. Your main weapon of choice should be that black star. For a player who needs to gear progression, the most reasonable weapons are black stars. Weapons like the Zarka, Dandelion, Ophlin and etc. are ancient and old weapons are now less effective in the game. Stage 3 at this stage, it would be good to obtain your Awakening weapon as Black Star. Stage 4 At this stage, we will convert your armors to Pen Boss Gear in order to increase your DP. Stage 5 This stage may take a little longer than the others. You will increase your armors to Capra's level 3 and you will exchange that DP with Distortion Earrings AP. This will give you a very strong progression in terms of AP. By this time, you have probably reached a certain point in the warranty penoxa requests and it will continue to assuming you have added the Ted Crescent Ring into your gear. Stage 6 At this stage, I suggest you change your sub weapon to Ted Blackstar. Stage 7 All your weapons are Ted Blackstar and it's time to turn them into Godrod weapon. If you don't know how to turn these weapons to Godrod, you can check my review video on my channel. By bringing the weapons we turn to the dual level, we will gain a very nice AP for PvE purpose. Stage 8 At this stage, we will upgrade our armors to Kafra's level 6. Stage 9 This stage may be a heavy stage in terms of silver. We will try to get Velsard. You can maybe get this Velsard from the drop from Velboss, or you can try to buy them from Marketplace. You can try to buy Tetungrad Ring and Tetungrad Belt from Marketplace. Stage 10. In order to turn your armor into Fallen God armor, you must upgrade it to the dual level after starting and completing the progression. Stage 11. You should progress your helmet as a Labresca helmet. After this process is finished, you can equip your Awakening Weapon with Garmod's Heart. If you have the opportunity, you can also do this the Godrod exchange process. Stage 12 At this stage, we should try to upgrade all of your weapons to try level. It would be better after this stage to do all your enhance about your weapons with Cronestone. We can make cup upgrades of our accessories at this stage. I am upgrading your pressing ring to pen and at this stage assuming you finished all pen accessory daily quests and get your pen crescent ring. Stage 13. At this stage we will increase the car frost level from 6 to 9 on our gloves and boots. Stage 14. At this stage I recommend you upgrade your main and awakening weapon to that level. Evasion builds can also upgrade their sub weapons to that if they wish. If you are curious about which class you play should choose between Evasion or GR, you should definitely watch my combat mechanics video on my channel. You can be sure that you will learn a lot of about the deep mechanics of the game in this video. Stage 15 At this stage I recommend replacing your necklace with a Pan Ogre, Lightan or Tungrat necklace. Stage 16 At this stage you can try to upgrade your weapons to Pen level. You can also pass 383 dp cap by increasing the cup of Velsard. This will give you percentage dr cap of 383. Yes, at the end of the 16th stage G progress, I aimed you to reach your 690 G score in the optimum way. From this point on, the progression to the end game stage begins and will vary depending on the everyone's playstyle. My goal was to prepare content that guides new players or returning players to the game. 
I hope you enjoyed this content. Do not forget, video is just a game. Have a nice game.